Hello, Libra. Welcome to this September 2021 love reading. We're going to be doing a special spread today. It's going to be like the 411 on your connection. What's the past, present, future energy? What do you need to know? Any hidden factors? How do you feel about each other? The potential outcome? We're going to be looking at all of that with this reading. Um, as always, this is meant to be a general love reading. Uh, it will not resonate with every Libra watching. So just take that and, you know, keep that in mind. Take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. Check your other placements if you'd like to get more messages. I have the playlist to all of the different signs linked in the description box. And let's just jump right in for Libra spirit, angels, guides, messages, please. For Libra, what does Libra need to know when it comes to love for September? 2021 for Libra. So this deck that I'm shuffling right now will have uprights and reverse. And then my clarifying deck, my little tiny clarifying deck here is all uprights so that I can get more clarity. All right, for Libra. Okay, let's see what we get for you, Libra. So this reading will be all about your connection and then the extended is going to be the 411 on your person. So past, present, future energy, we have the temperance card reverse, the chariot reverse, eight of swords reverse. Okay. So I see a light at the end of the tunnel here with the eight of swords reverse, but it's been very slow going. This is something that has taken forever. Temperance is reversed. So this, in the past, things were out of whack, out of balance. Um, more time, more patience, more energy was needed to bring something into balance. Sagittarius energy there. Right now, things are delayed, I feel, with this chariot reverse. We'll have to see what clarity we get. But eventually, I feel like it could be because of fear. Because I feel like someone's be becoming free, unstuck, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel here. So what do you need to know about the situation? Any challenges? Insight? Okay, Knight of Wands and the Nine of Cups reverse. Okay, so I feel like someone jumped into something and I feel like it wasn't what they thought it was going to be. Um, this is so like the grass was greener on the other side energy with the Nine of Cups reverse. When I see the Nine of Cups reverse, I feel like someone thought they were going to have fulfillment, their wish granted, but it came at a cost. And with the Knight of Wands, it makes perfect sense. It's like someone jumped into something without thinking about it. So how do you feel about this person? Queen of Wands. You can be dealing with a fire sign here. Page of Wands. Okay. So I feel like you're attracted to this person, desire this person, or interested in this person. With the Queen of Wands, Page of Wands. What about them? How are they thinking or feeling about you? Wow, the Fool. And the oh, King of Swords reverse. Once again, I feel like this person, um, the message I got was like the foot and mouth syndrome. <laughs> like they, um, they probably said something they regret. I feel like they want to do over here. This could be somebody that maybe there was a fight or maybe they deceived you, weren't honest with you. And it's almost like they, they wish they could do things over. Um, I think when they think about you, they also think, wow, I was foolish. I was really dumb. We'll see. We'll see what else we get from there. What's the potential outcome? Four of Wands, reverse. Wow, the lovers reverse. Gemini energy. You're getting a lot of reversals here. I mean, I have plenty of uprights in this deck. You see, I have plenty of uprights here. I mean, some are reversed, yes, but not all of them. So I find this very fascinating. Why do you have all the reversals? I don't believe in coincidences, so we'll have to clarify and get some insight. But what I see here is I see an, uh, a broken home, uh, a separation, a disconnect between two people. This could also be within a third party. We'll see. I don't really see third party energy, but the fact that someone made a mistake and jumped into something and thought maybe the grass was greener on the other side makes me think there could be a third party here. We'll see if I'm right about that.
what do you need to know? What uh, Any hidden factors here? Ace of Cups reverse. Five of Pentacles. So someone's not doing well. Heartbroken. Disappointed. So why is this all happening? What's the bottom of the deck here? Two of Wands reverse. Someone made the wrong choice. Someone picked the wrong person, picked the wrong path. This card technically is a card about choosing a path. But it, I also interpret this card when it's reversed as someone chose the wrong path. Or they want to have their cake and eat it too. They don't want to have to choose two. They want to do both at the same time. We'll see. I want to clarify that. Libra, what in the world? We'll see. Clarity, please, for Libra spirit. It's interesting because even with all the of the reversals, this is making a lot of sense for me. Um, so we'll see what we get with the, uh, the clarifiers here. Now keep in mind that this won't resonate for everyone and the roles can be reversed. So you can flip the energies, Libra, if you'd like. Clarity guidance, please, Spirit, for Libra regarding this connection. What do we need to know? For Libra. Well, let's start with the chariot reverse. Why are things like stop, stopped or stuck or delayed? Why is the chariot reverse for Libra? Why is the chariot reverse spirit? The high priestess. Why is the chariot reverse? When I see the high priestess like that, with like a card about delays, I think of like a hidden factor, something behind the scenes. Tell me about the chariot reverse. Wow, the tower. Maybe a tower has happened in this connection or is happening in at least one of your lives here. I feel like if you don't know about this, it's because it's happening behind the scenes, happening outside of you. Um, some of you, this was an, a recent separation with this person and you stopped talking to them. Tell me about the Eight of Swords reverse. Why is the Eight of Swords reverse? Yep, the Six of Swords. So someone's um, becoming unstuck, breaking free, leaving a situation here. There's a Two of uh, Wands. So maybe this is a choice being made. We will see. I'm going to clarify that. Five of Cups. But see what I'm saying? I feel like someone made the wrong choice and is having regrets over the choice they made. Hmm. Because we had the Five of Cups right after the Two of Wands. Can I get one more for the Eight of Swords reverse, please? Why is the Eight of Swords reverse? Ace of Swords Two of Pentacles. So I feel like this is someone that um, I think them uh, becoming free was a difficult decision. Maybe they took a long time making this decision. Maybe they were walk back and forth because this Ace of Swords with the Six of Swords, I'm getting like someone literally cutting something out of their life and walking away from it. This person could also be coming to talk to you, but they've debated doing that. Tell me about this Two of Wands reverse spirit. Why is the Two of Wands reverse? This is why everything is happening right now. The overall energy. Tell me about the Two of Wands reverse. Six of Pentacles. Tell me about the Two of Wands reverse. How about the Two of Wands reverse? The world. Page of Cups <laughs> and the Ace of Wands. This is somebody, yeah, this is somebody who they're trying to fix something now. They're trying to rebalance this because something happened here to unbalance this or to cause an imbalance, to cause a separation. This person wants a do-over with the world, the fool. And I almost picture them coming right back around to where they started. 
Give me some insight into challenges, any insight here. This is the challenges or insight to this connection, uh, to this situation. So tell me about the Knight of Wands and the Nine of Cups reverse. Tell me about the Knight of Wands, Page of Cups. Tell me about the Knight of Wands and the Nine of Cups reverse. Tell me about the Knight of Wands and the Knight, Nine of Cups reverse, please, Spirit. Justice. You see what I'm saying? Libra energy, Page of Cups. Page of Cups came up up here. Six of Pentacles is here. Two cards about balance. Page of Cups, Justice. Asking for forgiveness to restore balance. This is very clear to me. And then there's the Two of Wands, just as a confirmation for me as a reader. Now, this is all connected. This is someone that's trying to make a different choice now because the choice they made in the past didn't work out. So let's let's get some insight into your energies here for each other. Tell me more spirit for Libra. By the way, there you are Libra with justice. Give me some more insight please for Libra. What is Libra thinking or feeling about this person? What are Libra's energies towards this person or related to this person? What are Libra's energies, Spirit? Walking away. Departure, journey, movement. You're walking away towards something more fulfilling, okay? Tell me about the person that Libra is dealing with. Libra, you might be done with this person. Or you might be waiting for them to walk away from something. Tell me about Libra's person. Tell me about Libra's person. Cold shoulder. Someone's feeling shut out. Yeah, I feel like you could be walking away from this person. Or you silenced your or distanced yourself, I guess I should say, from this person. Maybe you're giving them the cold shoulder. Maybe this person put themselves out of your good graces. <laughs> I mean, I do see... There's inner voice, which is kind of like my high priestess card. So it could be that there is um, no communication here. Budding romance in the bottom, of, right behind that. So I feel like an unhealthy attachment. Yeah, it's almost like this person. Man, I, I just, I don't know. I feel like this person got themselves into a situation that maybe they think they can get out of easily. And I don't think they can. I'm not sure why I'm getting that energy, but you know, what is this page of wands about? What are you kind of looking towards here? What's this page of wands about? This could also be that this person is someone that's fun, passionate. There's chemistry, but there's no commitment, perhaps. Tell me about this queen of wands, page of wands. Page of wands, page of wands. What's the page of wands here? Seven of Cups. Why is the Page of Wands here? The Hierophant. There's a Fool. Interesting. So what I'm seeing here is I feel like this person is going to contact you, Libra. I feel like they're going to make you an offer of some sort. You know, let's go out. Let's do this. Let's hang out. Something like that. Let's try again, you know, with the Fool. But I think you want commitment with the Hierophant or there's a commitment in the way here now his energy so i think that you're kind of conf either confused about this communication or unsure you have doubts i feel like some of you outright don't trust this person but i don't think that's all of you tell me about the fool tell me about the fool yep five of pentacles this person is going to take a risk here because um i feel like they they're out in the cold suffering struggling we have the five of pentacles twice here tell me about the fool the ace of wands yeah they're gonna try they're gonna try again this person I, I heard what do i have to lose i'm already out in the cold what do i have to lose the audacity <laughs> i mean some people are like that though when you cut out any contact with them or 
when they see no way out or there's no other recourse, they kind of just like, well, F it. I have nothing to lose. Tell me about the King of Swords reverse. Why is the King of Swords reverse? Two of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this person kept something from you. Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, the Lovers, Page of Pentacles. So, okay, it might be that this person is keeping this whole idea of coming towards you a secret from you. Um, because I think they're outside, like they're far from you in some way. Like maybe you walked away from them or they walked away from you and there's distance between you now. And I feel like this person, for some reason, I feel like they're keeping this close to their vest or something like that where they're working in secret here and that's weird because I usually don't get that with the two of swords and I also find it interesting that I have the two of wands two of pentacles two of swords cards about decisions and this card is a card about someone that's not sure undecided and then I have this two of pentacles so I'm getting kind of wishy-washy energy here in a way like this person maybe they act brave <laughs> But I don't think they're as brave as they seem. Like they put on a brave face. Tell me about the lovers reverse with the four of wands reverse. Why is the lovers reverse? With the four of wands reverse. The queen of wands. Four of wands reverse with the lovers reverse. fire energy here seven of swords yeah okay um libra this person i feel like it's their fault that there's a disconnect between you and this is the potential outcome so i feel like this person is either you don't trust them you think they're up to the same old same old or that's exactly what they're doing um Can I get one more, please, for the Seven of Swords? Why is the Seven of Swords here? King of Pentacles. Ooh, I really hope this person isn't married. Because I have the King of Pentacles on the board. I have the Hierophant on the board. And this idea of being free. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. I feel like this Queen of Wands is important, but I feel like I'm missing something about her. Tell me about this Queen of Wands, please, Spirit. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. The Hermit, Virgo energy. There's that Page of Wands again. Queen of Wands, Page of Wands, Queen of Wands, Page of Wands. Queen of Cups. It's interesting because I feel like a lot of you felt like you had to distance yourself from this person. But I feel like deep down there's still a pull that you have towards this person. Regardless of the fact that you can't trust them, that maybe you're, the history that you have with this person is not the best, the fact that maybe something was unfair, unbalanced in your connection, because I had the temperance card reverse here in the past. I feel like there's still an attraction here, but I'm also picking up that a lot of you are were prepared or are prepared to walk away from this person for good if you need to, because I feel like a lot of you are tired. And that's why I don't think things are going to be resolved in the near future. I think there's still going to be disconnect with, between you. Um, this person is, I, if they are leaving a third party with the Six of Swords here, if they are walking away from something, they're not doing that in the near future. It's almost like they're trying to do both, you know, be sneaky and also be in a commitment, for example. And I see you almost trying to figure out what's this person's game plan? What are they truly going to do? What are their intentions? Almost like you're trying to seek answers. But it's like you can't get these answers from your person. You can only get them from like 
on your own for some reason like you, you because if you were to ask this person you don't trust what they're going to tell you tell me if that's resonating for you libra because i feel like this is a very specific reading tell me about the ace of cups reverse with the five of pentacles why is the ace of cups reverse with the five of pentacles why is the ace of cups reverse with the five of pentacles ten of pentacles ace of cups reverse with the five of pentacles please why is the ace of Five of Swords, yeah. Yeah. I feel like this person, be very careful, Libra. I feel like this person, and this, by the way, this position is what you need to know. Hidden factors, what's going on behind the scenes of the outcome, right? That you need to know. Or the situation. I feel like this person could potentially hurt you again. Um, I feel like this person is, feels bad about what they've done because they've had a loss, but I don't think it's because they've lost you exactly. I think it's because they're not happy with where they thought they were going to be happy. It's like this person's having buyer's remorse. They're not happy where they thought they were going to be happy. And then that means that they're kind of looking towards you. And I don't think that's fair to you. And I also don't think it's fair to wherever they are. I'm also picking up this person making promises that they can't keep. It's like a promise that they make for commitment. Like, oh, I'm going to commit to you because they know that's going to grab your attention. You know, because they're, they're over here possibly presenting this Ten of Pentacles to you, but all they have is a Page of Pentacles. So be very careful. I see that message too. Ten of Cups right behind the Page of Pentacles. So I think a lot of you are dealing with someone who um, who talks a lot or what they say is not necessarily what they do or mean. You know, this five of swords is very deceptive energy. So is that seven of swords up there. So, you know, it makes me pause a little bit because it's almost like for some reason, this person doesn't want to tell you everything. But they're still coming forward. So that's probably why the King of Swords is reversed. Because they're coming forward and taking a risk here to approach you, to ask for a new beginning, to make you this offer, right? But the King of Swords is reversed right next to it, almost as if there's something behind that that you don't know. So for example, let's say this person's already in a commitment, right? And they come to you and they said, we're not getting along, we're definitely gonna get a divorce, right? Well, that sounds great. But it turns out you start talking to this person and six months later you find out that they have been together all along, that the divorce is, you know, back and forth, that they haven't actually filed the paperwork, et cetera, et cetera. So be very careful. I'm not saying that that's what's going to happen, but I'm saying that that's kind of the energy I'm picking up, something that I can imagine could happen in a situation with this type of energy. So that's what I see for September. I'm going to take this to the extended. It's going to be the 411 on your person. What do you need to know about them, their intentions, their thoughts, their feelings? Um, I do think this person cares, but I also think that maybe their intentions are a bit misguided. So I like to look at that in the extended and get some clarity. So if this resonated, then check out the extended. It's linked in the description box, pinned in the comments. Um, thank you so much for watching, Libra. I hope this resonated for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing. I'd love to hear from you. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.